Tron TRX is going to become a country currency of a Dutch speaking country. And I believe that BitTorrent will as well. I'm going to share cold hard facts with you why I'm saying this. And it's not me pulling it out of the air or an insight that makes sense. There's actual in print information that would lead one to believe, if they're logical, that finally this is very, very close to happening. And it's not investment advice, it's just my opinion. But if you haven't jumped in yet, probably you may want to consider very strongly before the tidal waves of the moon start to pull real hard, then maybe you may want to get involved and pick up for yourself some BitTorrent and some Tron. So I'm going to share this article with you in a minute. I just want to tell you all something. When you see things like El Salvador, when you see and hear rumbles like Panama, I'm not going to list off everything. It'll put myself and yourself to sleep. I'm going to talk about what's not going to put us all to sleep. When you hear these rumblings and you witness these changes, when something like Tron that's been around since 2017 is still around doing the kind of volume they do, the chances that they have are very high and then becoming a country currency. And I'm going to get into where in the world this is going to happen. I'm going to show you why I believe it to be fact that's coming to fruition that's on the cusp of occurring. And I don't know if you saw it. Some of you may have, some of you may have not. I talked about Singapore many videos ago, a meeting that took place between the U.S. ambassador to Singapore and Justin Sun in Singapore. And no, it's not going to be Singapore. And it is a Dutch speaking country. And there is a population of approximately a half a million people that um, live in this country. So what's really nice, and usually I don't read the articles in advance, but this one was so interesting, I didn't even read the whole thing. I just looked at it and skimmed parts of it to make sure before I shared it with you guys that it was as fact-laden and worthy of getting as excited about as I'm talking about right now with you all because I only want to bring you the best. I only want to deliver information that has a very high probability of becoming a reality. And I know for a lot of you, myself included, some of you not, but I have a feeling a good portion, you've been waiting a very, very long time and you deserve to get something that's going to make you say, finally, Finally, this, this darn thing has finally mooned. Finally, something has happened beyond telling us how many billions and, and you know, how many millions and transactional, act, how much act activity there is, how much potential there is, how much volume there is, the DAOs, the DeFi's, the NFTs, the planning, everything that surrounds this whole situation. Just got distracted, but that's okay. Um, so, in short... What I'm trying to say is, it's a long time coming, right? Right, you guys? So, I'm going to get into it now. And gals, only there's a few of you. It's mostly guys here. But, um, yeah. So, you know, when the economies of countries need a boost, when things are getting crazy, when things are in need of change, basically, because countries are getting squeezed. Of course, if they can find a boost somewhere, something that's going to take things to a higher level, of course, they're going to do it and take advantage of it. Tron is positioned beautifully, along with Justin Sun's new frontiers that he's been frequenting, along with their technology, along with their history, along with BitTorrent, everything else. So I'm going to share this with you right now. So I'm going to go to my phone and I'm going to... So Tron announces its collaboration and investment initiatives in Suriname. That's the place. This is a new article. It's May 4th. Uh, I'm probably going to upload this tomorrow because I just put up a video today. 
However, Geneva, Switzerland. <clears throat> Tron has announced, excuse me, its intentions to explore investment opportunities and promote blockchain technology in Suriname. Delegates from the Tron network visited President Chandrika Persad Santoki. Interesting, Santoki, not Satoshi. Close. On Thursday, April 28th, to introduce its blockchain ecosystem, Tron X Suriname. So Tron is one of the leading global blockchains with over, we all know this, but still worth mentioning, 90 million users and hosts largest USDT stablecoin circulation with nearly 42 billion. Remember I said the other day, with USDD, it's going to make people and countries less fearful. It's going to help get us to the next level. This is, this is the next level. So hold on. President Santoki has assigned the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, International Business and International Cooperation, BIBIS, the responsibility of establishing structures for cooperation with Tron, establishing structures. The Suriname... The Surinamese government will collaborate with the Tron Network on blockchain technology and potential use cases in Suriname. The Tron-sponsored mission will proceed throughout the CARICOM region to raise awareness of blockchain technology and explore investment opportunities. Blockchain is a decentralized technology for efficiently capturing transactional information in a way that makes it difficult or impossible to modify or hack or tamper with the system. As technology changes, we as a country should not sleep, said Parliament, referring to the rapidly developing blockchain technology. As the delegation departed Suriname on Friday, April 29th, the Ministry of BIBIS will be maintaining the collaborative efforts Tron is committed to working with Suriname to establish a productive strategic partnership. So, one more thing, just to give you a little bit more um, info. Suriname is a small country on the northeastern coast of South America, just so you can check it out and see. It's defined by vast swaths of tropical rainforest, Dutch colonial architecture, and a melting pot culture on its Atlantic coast is the capital, Paramaribo, where palm gardens grow near the Fort Zealandia, a 17th century trading post. There's a half a million people living there. And I think this is probably... One of the reasons why Tron's been jumping up the last few days here and there, and it's one of the biggest news pieces of news I think we'll get and have gotten in a while. So, thanks for watching. I hope this finds you healthy, happy. I will see you on the next video.